Okay. Dan, you coming along on this? Uh, absolutely. All right. Last time I was in it was an F1 car. Oh, that that feels just perfect, clutch-wise. Okay, sounds the same, but now we have. You may not want to ride. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Now a lazy shift. Yeah, feel that hang? Perfect. Ah. It did do the weird low, low pressure thing. Yeah. I'm only driving at a thousand miles, you know? It's, it's fine. It's fine. Welcome to Hoovy's Garage, the dumbest automotive channel in all of YouTube, and I am back in Round Rock, Texas at EAG to pick up my now gated manual swapped Ferrari 599. Well, almost. Uh, but to recap, basically this car started out with an automated manual F1 transmission. These people are famous for converting these over. I sold my 458 to Dan, normal guy supercar, uh, with the deal that also my 599 would get converted. And it finally happened here last week in record time. Dan live streamed it. It was awesome. Uh, but now I'm back to drive it 1,000 miles to the Amelia Island Concours and have some fun. Except it's not ready yet. I, I look inside to see my gated manual. And it's, uh, I was missing some stuff, so they got some explaining to do, I guess. Car's not done. We had a problem with the laser. But you need a laser or a gated shifter? Oh, <gasps> you put my name on it? Built for Tyler Hoover? Did we spell it right? I, you did spell it right. <laughs> that was, That's very nice of oh, you, but man. my name on this car probably kills the resale value, to be honest. <laughs> I, I, you know. I wasn't gonna sell it anyway, but uh, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, so is this the last few bolts right here? Yeah, yeah. Last, last four bolts. So, so this is it right here? This is the last cherry on top? Which, by the way, those Something are like the actual factory bolts, the Phillips. They people, are Phillips. Have, people have commented, why'd you guys put janky Phillips? It's like, that's what Ferrari put it in. Oh, as Jared, I need his straight pick. So there's the gate and the completely reworked center console, which. You guys have those done somewhere? Yeah. Because originally the... We designed it and then sent it to it. Sent it to a yeah. uh, manufacturing company. But I still have all the plugs. Everything looks the same. And it's still all the functionality up there. Yep. I'm witnessing history here. As soon as we get a pick. <laughs> Just for you. It's going to line this up first. A beefy, beefy pick. Oh. <laughs> The knob going on. A little tightening and then you're gonna slap her on the rear. She's done. Yes, sir. How about that? Okay. Dan, you coming along on this? Uh, absolutely. All right. Last time I was in it was an F1 car. Oh, that, that feels just perfect, clutch-wise. Okay, sounds the same, but now we have... You may not want to ride. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Okay. That is, that is nice, and then reverse. I, it knows. It even went into the backup sensors. Oh. All right, well, shall we? Yes. No more robot controlling this. Just me. That's <laughs> very easy. Okay. And we're off. <laughs> oh, Satisfied? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than anybody should with a mechanical thing. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, that way. Oh, yeah, you definitely want to go left. Yep. Don't want to get in the dirt. Okay. Oh, the grab point's just perfect. All right. <laughs> I want to kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> he leaned into it too. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a mo um, um, I don't know the word. I'm a mossum. Yeah, that's a, a amazing mossum. and awesome. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. So I see what you mean. Where it needs to hold the RPMs a little bit yep. for you to shift. It dumps so fast. Yes. It's just, it's too fast a revving engine. So you have it hold the revs for a little bit while you shift, which is Right, and it's only one, two, one to two, two to three. Yep. Because those are the gears, like, if you're just cruising peacefully, you know. Right. So you're driving like a normal person. Yeah, if you're driving. Not like how I just did. Okay, yeah. so downshift in a second. Come out. Now a lazy shift. Feel it hang. Perfect. Ah. It did do the weird low, low pressure thing. Yeah. I'm only driving at a thousand miles, you know? It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Well, you guys, you told me about this before, but you looked yeah. at it and you verified it. Yeah, the electrical thing. I don't have it's low, low a, it's pressure. It's electrical fault. And you guys didn't remove the engine or anything up there wherever the oil pressure sensor is. So it was all in the back in the torque tube. So it's not your fault. It's this just, is one of those things that we're going to get blamed for it, though. <laughs> oh, of course. But yes, it's a Ferrari. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's thank, our luck, right? Of course. Thank you for reminding me that you're a 15 year old Italian car, and, and it just went off. Okay. Yep. See, that makes no <laughs> sense. Yep. As the RPMs come down, it, oh, yep. it's back. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Thanks, Ferrari. Makes no sense. Yeah, that. That doesn't suck. It's electrical. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. Yeah. If we were having that low oil pressure for this long, it would have grenaded already. Yeah. I mean that's. That's why even a Ferrari 599 is a hoopty. I call them the hoopty fleet. <laughs> Stuff happens. So, but what you all did, this is this is magnificent. Yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> we're gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna get used to this. I'm gonna quit making these faces that you all never ever want to see. Oh, drop you off and then hit the road. Yes. Well, and just like that. It's been a thousand flawless miles, and I haven't seen that oil pressure warning since Texas. So whatever it was, it, it healed itself, knock on carbon fiber. But look at this. Look at this beautiful gated shifter, and it has been amazing. This car is dialed in so, so well. Now, obviously, all the hardware here is just artwork and masterfully done, but it's the little details that makes things so much better, such as programming the revs to hold when you put in the clutch in the first few shifts because this car has such a light flywheel it would rev down very quickly which on an f1 car you would kind of want but on a normal manual car especially if you're not shifting very quickly you do kind of need the revs to hold and go down kind of gradually so that is is perfect i think it's set in the perfect spot and well the way everything feels it's, it's just amazing I've driven this car 1,000 miles. I do not feel tired. I do not feel uncomfortable. I do sort of wish I had cruise control. That's the only thing. But really, the pedal point, it's, it's very easy to rest and barely touch it. This is the best car ever. It, it is definitely my new favorite by a lot. It is so gorgeous. The painted furry and styling, the color, the spec, the engine, and now, now this. So, why are we driving 1,000 miles? Well, we're going to the Amelia Island Concours, where we're going to meet up with some old friends and... Well, show the car. I'm very curious to see what Ed and Freddy will think of this thing and others, but it really doesn't matter because I'm the happiest guy in the world. I made it. Yeah. Congratulations. Hello. And Hi. we're here enjoying ourselves because we're not filming a car trek. It's not That's all fun. work right now. Relaxing. Just chilling. It's, a car yeah. trek's fun, but oh, this yes. Is, this is so nice, isn't it? It's so, different not shooting 20 hours a day. Freddy uh -huh. bought back. It used to be silver. Yeah, it's my baby. Oh, it's, oh look at her. Oh. So this is your old Aston, or Doug's old Aston. Yeah, well, listen, well -used just Aston. because Doug DeMuro owns something doesn't make it his forever, okay? You bought I it I own back. it longer than he did, and then I sold it because I had to, you know, uh, blow up my YouTube channel, and then I bought it back because now I can uh, afford it again. Well, did you see what happened here? What, what'd you do? It's got a thing. It's got a thing? Oh, it's got a thing! Yes. You got a, you got a toilet plunger in there. <laughs> Another bad thing happened. So speaking of, somebody's mirror fell off on the road. I went a thousand miles. I get ten miles within here. Okay. And I hit this mirror. It explodes the oh glass. You can see God. it's peppered oh, everywhere. Is that, you have to total this car, Tyler. It's a rebuild now. You you yeah. can't, you know what? Now you're attracted to it, uh, right? Now I like it more. Yes. Except yeah. for the fact, you know that's not original. 
It's a. They, so, didn't, they, they didn't put those on the car. No. Yeah. So just take it off. Yeah. And make it better. Okay. Well, somebody tried to build it better, and now it's worse. I, I didn't see. do that. That's what it, you would absolutely. I well, absolutely uh, would not. Anyway, do that. they're, they're arguing. Ned, no. yeah. about the spiker here, which is gorgeous. Now, I do really, really want you to experience my gated manual conversion, but first, look at that. That's that shift rod. It's gorgeous, but they did cables with this one, so it's different. Okay. I don't want Freddie to drive it. What? Because all he does is complain about my cars, talk about issues that don't exist. Oh yeah, the brake will like... dev never no. be okay. No, no. So you don't get to drive the car because all you do is complain about my stuff. So I want I... Ed to experience it. Okay, fine. Well, yeah. your tires need changing. This color doesn't match. Okay, like you know what? I, Ed, I can. I please, can go Ed, off. don't yes. go. Off. Let, me, yeah. let me do that. Goodbye. Okay. Well, you're the reason I have this car. <laughs> Because it's your terrible one. That's right. This one's a good bit nicer than mine was. But what does it bring back the memories of the Car Trek 4599? Yeah, uh, the water line was about where your elbow was or yeah, where you are. It, it, that car was at least four or five years removed from the flood. And fortunately, it was a freshwater flood. But it still had its issues. The screen on mine was out. The airbag light was always on. That took a lot of hard hard work mostly by art from eag he actually yes. came to atlanta twice to help me with his diagnostic computer to try to clear the airbag light we had entertained putting another car seat in because it was different sets of sensors but mm. uh finally we figured out a recipe to keep the light off long enough but uh mine was not one of these bad boys. no here's more of art's artwork right here yeah I love sure. built for tyler hoover oh yes wasn't that a nice little touch <laughs> So I drove the first car they did, the 2008 Scuderia, uh -huh. and that car was actually one that we had at Motorcars of Georgia while I worked there as a repo. Uh, Premier Financial Services had repoed that car, <laughs> and it was ordered by a good customer of ours who went a little bit crazy and stopped paying his bills, but it was actually ordered new by Doug Beecham of the Brock Chase Memorial Fund. Mm. Uh, Ferrari did not listen to the order form exactly, and so it had a red and black interior with all yellow stitching and a yellow horse on it. Uh, but yeah, that popped up with uh, with one of these slapped in it, and it's a totally different driving experience, as I know a lot of people drove that car, and uh, it's really different than what you'd expect when you get into one. Yeah, well, it's kind of hard to drive these things hard in Fernandina Beach with traffic going to the Concorde and all that stuff, but uh, it's really cool, I mean, everything they've done, and also a little different with the 599, where if you get on a little bit, put it in second, get a little, how it held the revs a little bit there? I did see that, yes. So it, it, in any situation, if you, you rev it and then you take it off, it now lets go of the throttle, right. which is a little bit peculiar, but it's necessary because when you're dealing with cars that were built around the premise of a single clutch sequential manual transmission, it gave them license to put in lighter weight internals, less mm -hmm. rotating mass, lighter weight flywheels, and so they just lose revs too fast to smoothly work as manuals. The same thing's true for a manual F430 from the factory. It's a hard mm -hmm. car to drive if you're not driving it as hard as you absolutely can. Yeah, it's all in the programming, and, and Art did want me to mention a man named Mensa in the UK, an appropriate last name who does all the programming here. <laughs> it's like all, all this stuff works, it's just... Uh, That's wild, yeah. because when I drove the Scud, none of that worked. No ABS, no traction control, things like that. And so I, I understand they've developed some kind of a piggyback system that mm -hmm. keeps all that stuff happy, but I mean, driving a car like this with no error lights on, is a very unique experience. Well, that's just in general. No matter what well, exactly. you, it, it, yeah, yeah, for yeah. you in general, that's but, unique. But for, every, <laughs> for me too. You know, tinkered <laughs> with, exactly. Right. On both counts. All right, so you approve? I do. You know, it's very stiff, right? And so, I, do you think it will loosen up? I don't know. I, I mean, mean, you're used to Lamborghinis, and they're always a little easier than, say, yes. older Ferraris. So I'm used to the 348, where it's just like, oh, so it doesn't feel that bad to me. No, it doesn't but, feel bad. It just feels a little, I don't know. It's, you're right. It's just a lot stiffer than a Lamborghini. It feels right to me. I mean, between yes. the 456 and the 348, the 355 that I had before, this this is this is not bad. It's at in all. the same, I don't know, difficulty or what would you call it, resistance? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah it feels the same. Uh, 
I'll tell you. Yeah, I had a manual 360 Spider for years that I loved, but that car was worn out. Mm -hmm. It had almost 60,000 miles, and it's uh, that was slushier. But this mm -hmm. is, it, it feels solid, which is what modified cars never do. Right. And in that regard, I think they've done something pretty, pretty brilliant. I did something brilliant for once. That just, we'll hold this moment for, oh, okay, I'll hold it in. The most it. momentarily it, brilliant it, it, channel in all of YouTube. Well, that's satisfied. I'm satisfied. I absolutely love the car. This is an incredible event, the Mealy Island Concours. I've been coming, well, eight of the last 11 or 12 years. So much fun. This year, they're actually featuring Enzo's. There's going to be five of them lined up tomorrow, but here's one today. So we have basically the same thing. Well, not really, but the same engine. Instead of it being in the front, it's in the back with these cars. And this one, well, absolutely gorgeous, but I don't think a manual converger will be coming with this one. But as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much EAG for getting this done. It's my new favorite car. One last little bonus here because this is a factory gated manual 599, one of the 30 or so in the US. Let's see how different it feels. WeatherTech floor liners, really? I mean, it looks very similar, but how does it feel? That's shift rods. Feels pretty similar. We'll, we'll see what it sells for. I think the estimate is 675 to $775,000. Well, that factory gated car rocked the block for $750,000. A ton of money. Obviously, I'm into mine way, way less, but I'm not going to sell it. It is the best car ever. And now I'm back home. I left the car with Freddy Tavares Hernandez in Florida to ship it back home. And, well, I already miss it. And speaking of endings here, we are actually at the season finale of Car Issues on Motor Trend, and they actually haven't given the green light for another season just yet. I guess they want to wait and see all the way till the end. Kind of a nail biter here. So if you all would watch the season finale tonight at 10 p.m. 9 central on Motor Trend, especially if you have a Nielsen box or know somebody that does, be sure to turn that TV on because, well, the whole show is at stake. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll end today's episode with a preview of the finale, which has a really cool, high mileage, super cheap Ford Raptor. Whoa! What do you think of the world's cheapest Ford 6.2 Raptor? I don't feel like I'm in Kansas. This is crazy. What is that noise? Oh. My front axle has left the chat.